We install oversized tires for a variety of reasons and with that come a variety of challenges. One of them in particular is speedometer calibration when the diameter of the tire becomes larger. On our Dodge Ram truck, the original equipment tire was a 265-70R17. These BF Goodrich all-terrain tires are officially 34.6 inch diameter. The tire diameter is governed by a variety of factors, including the width of the rim. Our American Eagle Raven wheels are 18 inch by 9 inch. And this tire is designed to fit a 9 to 12 inch rim width. At this narrower 9 inch width, the tire diameter is affected and is actually larger, which we'll discover when we go to calibrate the speedometer. For dealership personnel or those who have access to a DRB3 scan tool, I'm going to walk you through the sequence for calibrating the speedometer on this 2005 Dodge Ram truck. The procedure would be similar for all 1998 and a half to 2006 model Dodge Rams. It would also be similar to other Jeep and Ram truck models that have a tone ring and a provision in the DRB3 scan tool for actually calibrating the speedometer. So let's walk through that sequence. With very little practice, this sequence becomes familiar. Turning the key on, the DRB3 scan tool reads standalone or a variety of other options. We go from the DRB3 standalone mode and press enter to bring up the next screen. Now we're given the choice of 1998 to 2006 diagnostics, this being the 2005 Dodge Ram 3500 truck. We'll again hit enter. Now it gives us the choice of all models in the 1998 to 2006 diagnostics mode except for the ones listed below. The Dodge Ram is not listed below, so we will go ahead and enter all. Now we're given a choice of systems, and this is where it gets interesting. For speedometer calibration, we're actually going to go into the anti-lock brake system. So we scroll down to anti-lock brakes and hit enter. Now the DRB3 scan tool is actually identifying the brake system, which it discovered was a Kelsey Hayes on this 2005 model and went into more detail about that. We're then given a screen to select a function. Again, we're in the anti-lock brake mode, so we look down the screen and move the scroll to miscellaneous. Again, press enter. Now we're given two choices. One is to bleed the brakes, the other is to set pinion factor. For those familiar with earlier model vehicles that had the pinion driving out of the transfer cases or transmission for driving the speedometer, the term set pinion factor does make sense. For those not familiar with that, just understand that we're interested in setting the pinion factor. We scroll to set pinion factor, press enter. At set pinion factor, we press enter. It's reading information. In this case, we're going to say the tire diameter is unknown and that we have an 11.5 inch corporate axle, so we'll press enter. It gives us a variety of tire size choices. This vehicle actually had this LT265-7017 tire originally, the Rugged Trail TA from BFG, but that's not what's on there now, so we'll scroll down to Other and press Enter. It's asking us for the axle type and diameter, and yes, we do have an 11.5 corporate axle in this 2005 model, so we'll leave it right there and press Enter. Now it's asking us what the revolutions per mile of the tire are. It's reading 580 here. The original equipment tire was actually 658 revolutions per mile. In the process of calibrating the speedometer, I've reprogrammed this by scrolling up and down to 580. Again, it was originally 
658 with the OEM tire size. And you can see how easily you are able to adjust this. If this were the original tire size, revolutions per mile would be 658. We have a range of 400 to 900 revolutions per mile to choose from, a very wide range. So we're going to go down to decrease the number of revolutions per mile with this oversized tire. Remember that I said BFG calls for 601 revolutions per mile on a specific rim width. But in reality, we found that this vehicle will require something closer to 582 revolutions per mile because of the narrow wheel rim width. So I'm going to put it at 581. And now it's asking me, am I happy with that? it's asking me to enter if I'm finished. So I'll go ahead and press enter. And it's telling me that the programming is successful. As we see here, it has input that. But let's go ahead and continue. We'll go back to set pinion factor and see if it actually held that new setting. So we'll press enter. It's asking again, is it tired unknown diameter and is it an 11.5 and yes it is so we'll press that again we're given the choices of tires that were original equipment or other we'll scroll down to other and press enter yes we do have the 11.5 inch corporate axle in this Ram 3500 truck so we'll press enter and now you can see that revolutions per mile is in the computer, the PCM, at 581 revolutions per mile, which we believe to be accurate. And we will go out and road test to confirm. So now we'll press enter. We're finished. It has accepted that. We know that. And it's saying if we want to exit, simply do page back. And I'll page back to safely come out of the program, we'll go back to standalone, and this speedometer is now calibrated for 581 revolutions per mile. We'll turn the ignition off, unplug the DRB3 scan tool, and take the vehicle for a test drive. Now we've gone for a test drive, and we discovered that the speedometer is just slightly fast in its read. In a moment, I'll explain how we did the actual road test to confirm speedometer calibration. I'm going to go through the sequence one more time and fine-tune the calibration of the speedometer. I'm going to begin by plugging the DRB3 scanner plug into the OBD2 port. And you can hear the DRB3 scan tool spooling up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the key to the on position without the engine running. And quickly take us through the sequence to fine tune the speedometer calibration. We'll begin with the DRB3 standalone mode and press enter. In standalone main menu, we see the 1998 to 2006 diagnostics. That's our group for the 2005 Dodge Ram truck. We again select all. It's none of the below. We scroll down to the anti-lock brake mode as a system. It's looking at the controller now for the brakes and indicating that it's a Kelsey Hayes system in a 2005 DR body. Selecting functions, we move down to miscellaneous. Press enter. Go to set pinion factor. Press enter. It's reading information. The tire size will say is unknown. We know it's an 11.5 corporate axle, so we'll press enter. It's none of the OEM tire sizes, it's other. So we'll scroll down to other and press enter. 
It is 11.5 corporate axle, so we'll press enter. You can see that our setting is at 581 still. And it was running slightly fast in terms of speedometer calibration. So we will go to 582, very slight correction, and press enter. It asks us again, is it under other tires? 11.5 corporate axle, yes. We press enter. It's writing that information, telling us that the programming is a success. Programming successful. We can press enter. I'm going to quickly zip back through this to make sure that the 582 took a set. Pinion factor, reading information, tire size unknown, 11.5 corporate axle, press enter. Scroll down to other for tire size, press enter. 11.5 or 10.5 corporate axle, press enter. And there's 582. We know that we're finished, so we press enter. It's a success. We can page back to exit. We page back. We page back completely through the system. On the page back button to DRB3 standalone. On the page back. And we're done. We've now calibrated the speedometer. We'll take it out and road test it. We'll turn the key off. and unplug the DRB3 scan tool, and we're through.